Hi, I'm Dr. Tenbir Jenjua. I'm a board-certified facial plastic surgeon. Today I will demonstrate the case of a patient with a chin implant uh, that caused weakness of the right marginal mandibular nerve. During the time of recovery, it can be quite disconcerting to have difficulty in smiling and speaking and sometimes swallowing and drinking. And this can take six weeks to six months to correct itself. During that time, we can do a few tricks to help improve the situation and I will try to demonstrate those at this point. We have here Mrs. M with us and uh, she has a chin implant that was done and uh, it led to weakness of the right marginal mandibular nerve. At rest we cannot see it but when we ask her to smile, Mrs. M would you kindly smile for us? We need a little bigger smile. <laughs> As you see the smile, you can notice the weakness. The right side does not work as well, and that's uh, causing some difficulty, obviously, in the aesthetic appearance and also in the speech. And while the nerve takes time to get better, we have to reduce the asymmetry between this side and the other side. And to do that, we will use a little bit of Botox on the other side. And uh, the depressor labii muscle on the other side will not be able to pull it as hard, giving us more symmetry. And by the time the healing happens, <clears throat> it should wear off and then she will have good symmetry. And we will continue to follow her to see the progress. The goal of the implant was to improve the overall aesthetic of this area. However, we noticed that we still have a long oral commissure and we do have a lot of pinning in the alveolus area because of bone loss with age. So we want to correct that. For that we will use fillers. Also in the upper lip which is very thin and in the oral commissures to give them some more round appearance as opposed to such pointy appearance because this gives otherwise a very sad look. And I can assure you she is not a sad lady. And uh, we will pause and we will continue with the treatment. I am using this port today and I intend to use 10 units of this port in the um, depressor labii inferioris, which is the muscle pulling the left side downwards. Just to give you an idea of comparison, typically in glabella we used, or I used 60 units. So it's one sixth of the dose, and that is plenty because you don't want to paralyze it too much, or you can have difficulty speaking and swallowing. You have to find the line of pull and inject in there. So we will find the line of pull and then mark it as well. Mrs. M, could you please? Open your mouth a little bit. <laughs> Close a little bit. Good. And now give me a big smile. Imagine you just won the lotto. Perfect. Great. Relax. You can close. Good. Smile. Open your mouth a little and then big smile. Perfect. That's great. You can relax now. So that's the line we have marked it and that's where we will inject. Perfect. Thank you. And that's done. She has been given the infraorbital nerve blocks already. I want to confirm that they are already working. Are you feeling numb? Yeah, great. I'm going to touch it. You can close your eyes and tell me if you feel pain or just pressure. Barely, barely pressure. Perfect. So we will now proceed with Juvederm injection. I intend to use Juvederm Ultra XC. Open your mouth a little, please. You can see the change happening along the vermilion border. And then I will go into the vermilion, which is the red part itself, to give some volume to the lip. Next, I will go into the nasolabial groove. Okay. 
At this point, you can notice a difference between the right and the left side, and it is quite significant. Now we will mirror it on the other side. I've done the oral commissure, and now I'm proceeding with the vermilion border. As you inject and withdraw, you can see the change in the vermilion border. And then the red part, the vermilion itself. I usually go halfway between the border and the a moist line, a line between the moist and the dry part of the lip. And now we proceed to the nasal labial groove. As you can see, the oral commissures look well, the nasal labial grooves are better. The lip has some more volume. The one thing that's missing in definition sometimes that we as doctors overlook is the filtral ridge and I will re recreate the filtral ridge to give more definition to the upper lip. You can see the ridge on the left but not on the right so we'll recreate that. At this point it looks great. The one other thing we would like to do is do build up the right lower lip since it appears thinner than the left side. Would you please look? At this point we are completely done and as you can see we have restored some symmetry but we will have to wait for a few days to check the effect of uh, this board and uh, we'll meet Mrs. M again in uh, about a week's time to document that. Mm -hmm.